Prince of San Breck. He has many titles. Dion the Bold, Prince of Dragoons, Odin's Nemesis, or simply Bahamut. I met him once when we were children. He was a chivalrous soul even then, and has served his empire indefatigably ever since. And you are confident that he will listen to what you have to say? Our world lurches ever closer to the abyss, and a hidden hand ushers us onward. Ultima's influence extends to every nation, Sunbreak included. If His Highness is the man I believe him to be, and I pray that he is, this truth will not have escaped his notice. As the mother crystals fall, the eternal flame wavers, and the azure sky begins to bruise. How lucky we were to be blessed by the crystals, and yet how spoiled, like canaries in a gilded cage, growing fat on seed. But now, the bars are closing in, and we must take flight. Painful though it be to leave our home behind, it is what we must do to be free. Which is it that men cannot live without? A blessing that leads to damnation, or a freedom that leads to deprivation? I do not yet know the answer to that question. Do you, Clive? <coughs> Your Grace, let us find a place to rest a while. We can return by the Dalmechian Trail once you have recovered your strength. I realize your duty is pressing, but if your health should fail... I know. Thank you, Yota. <laughs> 